What's up guys? Welcome to part nine of the Tahoe show truck build. Uh, still, still doing work, man. Still on the interior. Still got a lot of things to do. I got a few more things done though, so let's check it out. As you can see, I rearranged my garage a little bit. Got it cleaned up. Got a little more room to work on the truck. And uh, I'll show you the back of the truck. But I got some work done in the back of the truck on the false floor. And I started my trim panels. That's going to cover up. You see it goes all the way up to the front there. It's going to cover up all this ugly stuff that's factory in the truck. Still working on the back of it. And then the fast2door.com. And I'll show you a cool thing here. Pretty cool little effect. Got a piece of plexiglass and a sticker and use the sticker to trace the outline of my logo. And then I use a Dremel to actually etch it or just scratch the plexiglass on the underside. So the top of the plexiglass is still smooth. Uh, and when you etch the underside of it and surround it in LED lights, the lights actually reflect or disperse off of the etch surface and it creates this glowing effect. Pretty cool, I think. It's gonna be a nice little uh, set off to the back end of the truck, especially when I get my tailgate on. So like I said, not much going on there. Uh, I do have some more stuff to do back there, and then I can finally call the back of the truck wrapped up. And here's the other piece of the trim panel that I'm working on right now. I'm gluing a, I'm using magnets. You see that little magnet right there? I'm using magnets to hold the whole thing together. Um, that way I don't have to do screws or anything like that on the surface, it can be nice and clean. Uh, the big piece that I'm working on though on the interior right now is my, uh, I guess you call it a dash insert. And you can see right there, I'm not using the existing dash insert with the iPad. Going a little different route. And I'll show you what I've got going here. This is the dash insert that I actually found on the ground at a, I guess it was a Salvation Army or something like that, like a drop off point. It was just laying in the parking lot. So I scooped it up and I set it up for a while and couldn't decide whether I wanted to start over or work on the other one. But basically what I did here, um, you, this was the factory cut out for your radio and then your switches. And then this was the air conditioner cut out and then I left the cubby hole cut out. I took my gauge pillar that I had and I cut off the three inserts here for the gauges and I glued them down with some epoxy to my air conditioner cut out and had to trim a little bit to get it to fit. And then I fiberglassed them and body filled them to make it look like it's one piece. You can see here I still got some work to do on it, but it's looking pretty good. The goal here is for it to look like, uh, I mean, not like it came that way from the factory because obviously none of them did, but it'll look pretty stock. Or it'll look like it was a one, one piece, like this piece was originally made with the gauges in it. And then I'm also glassing right here to smooth out this crease. You can see the crease right here. I'm trying to smooth it out, make it look uh, just less busy. And the goal here is I'm gonna do, I'm not doing an iPad anymore. My radio is gonna go right here in a single den slot. And then below that I'll have a half den slot for an EQ right here. I picked up this EQ the other day and then my stereo and then below that I'll have my uh, oil pressure uh, water temperature I want to say and I'm not sure what else I might do a air fuel meter once I get my wideband on here but anyway gauges in there that way I don't have to do them in the pillar anymore other than that there's really not much going on just trying to get some things done so that I can put this little tailgate piece back in the back. I don't know if you guys ever saw that finished. Tailgate piece, suede, and then I've got LED lights underneath this Chevy logo that'll light up. And then I can call my back, oh, well, one more piece here. I've got this piece right here, this long door sill that I'm actually smoothing. And once that's done, put it back in the back, call the back done, move on to my front, do seats, and, uh, Seats, door panels, dash insert, 
and I'll be wrapping the inside up, moving on to something else. So stay tuned, guys. Thanks for following. Subscribe, like, share the video, and we'll see you next time.